What I want to show you is both the good and the bad of the reality here. Now, this is a toy. Um, I should have, if the wife were a little more reliable, I would have moved it over here, but I took a picture of this in the Brookstone in Newark Airport, uh, where I had four hours to just wander around. You could buy this at the airport, carry it on a plane with you, and you can have your own. They're about 300 American dollars. Um, my math is not good enough in my head to be able to convert that into euros on the fly, but they're not expensive. And they're not selling these as a, like, drone, drone type drone. They sell them as a flying video game. So, I love it because I can crash it without guilt, because it's only $300. There's another lab on campus, and they have a $40,000 multi-rotor helicopter. I'm uncomfortable flying anything that can crash regularly that's worth multiples of what my car is worth. I'm just disturbed by that. But what you're looking at here is my Wi-Fi screen, and you'll see that there's an AR Drone 2 Wi-Fi network. Please do not get on that. It's not going to do you any good. So... <laughs> It creates its own Wi-Fi network, and that's how I control it. Yes, there's an app for this too. <laughs> <laughs> Tells me I'm connected. Maybe around here. And when I go here, there we are. We're looking out the front. One button, and we're in the air. Buddy wave hello. So now I have. Now I gotta kind of keep this thing from wandering away too much here. It did have to go through TSA inspection, so I have no idea what they did to it. But I'm gonna land for a crash. Because it's trying to. So that's Woo! both. <laughs> is both kind of the promise and the reality. So, let's see if it decides to wander off the front here. Yeah, please. I want to go backwards, and I don't know why. But you'll see, it's just kind of wandering around and now it's trying to crash it. What? I don't know what the TSA did to it, but uh, I'm a little leery now. Especially since this is a borrowed drone, the one that I actually own is on its way to San Francisco right now for the Online News Association Conference, one of my students. Hopefully he didn't get the TSA treatment as well. Um, but while I was in the air there, you'll see that button on the left corner there with the camera on it? I took a picture of you looking at me. So I can sit here and I can turn around and indeed there you are. Blurry, but hey, not too bad. I've just shown you a $300 toy that you can fly with an iOS device. That could be extraordinarily useful for her. Now imagine we spend, say, $3,000. The blades spin a lot faster. It essentially becomes a flying lawnmower at that point. Jo I, I joke about getting your fingers in this. I got my fingers up into this once. It hurts. It won't cut you. It won't do permanent damage. But you'll wish you hadn't done that. Um, but we're talking about a toy. A toy meant for children, or in my case, uh, a child trapped in the body of a 37-year-old man. Um, that can fly and can be powered by a smartphone. Now this is the second iteration of this device. Imagine what two years from now will hold. The hilarious thing to me, because I'm a cynic, I admit it. Um, the great thing and the, and, the, and the horrible thing is, what's powering the development of drones, particularly in civilian uses, are these. All of the advances that are going into your smartphone 
better, faster computing, smaller computing, less battery consumption, better battery life, all going into that. And it's going to be very interesting in the next few years. So I'm getting the five minute sign. Um, so 